Hola y buenos dias. We woke up bright and early at 3.50 a.m. this morning to catch a tour at 4.30 a.m. And today we are going to Umonte Lake. Yes, it is very much still dark outside. But I do want to tell you guys that similar to Palcoyo Mountain, it will be a three hour drive. And we booked this tour in the city of Cusco and it was about half the price of what we were seeing online. Anywhere you want to go Beyond the stars Out where the sun sets We'll find the light And we'll keep it our secret Oh Anywhere you want to go Down at Eden Road Anywhere you want to go I'll show you The hike to Laguna Umantai is six miles round trip and obviously you can see I'm very out of breath. Every step feels like a million steps because the altitude is so high. But it's gonna be really worth it because the lake is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Outrun the dark, keep our eyes open mountain. Yay, clear. Whew. This is not an easy hike. I don't know, I'm pretty proud of ourselves. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad. We're definitely adjusted to the altitude more than we were when we were at Palcoyo Mountain, so it is a little bit easier. So we made it to the base of the lake and then once we made it there we saw that there were these ridges that kind of go around the lake and so we were like let's climb up to the top and we're really glad that we did because now we can see the entire lake from above and the color is absolutely yeah. amazing it's the brightest turquoise blue it is so cool up here and honestly i thought it was gonna be really cold and really windy but yeah. it's actually not that bad and it was definitely a very strenuous hike, but the finale is very, very rewarding and we would recommend it for anyone who does come to visit Peru. It's a beautiful spot. And if not for the lake, definitely for the mountains. There are these beautiful snow-capped mountains right behind us. And then of course, just surrounding mountains with beautiful yellowish green grass. And it's absolutely phenomenal. We are both just so happy to be here, but we're gonna start heading back down. Hopefully it'll be a quicker descent than the way up, but we'll see you guys on the bottom. So we just made it back to the van after our incredible hike, but we're now going to take a one hour drive to lunch in order to get our all you can eat buffet and then we'll head back to Cusco to head to our Airbnb. day we just got back and it's seven o'clock p.m that means we were out on our adventure for over 14 hours which is pretty yeah. wild and because lunch actually happened to be at like 4 p.m and because mm -hmm. we're just really tired we decided to just get some dessert and a drink to go <laughs> <laughs> and just take it easy for the rest of the night as yeah. if you can't tell i'm pretty sunburnt all over yeah, my face I'm pretty burned as well and i'm just so tired. It was a long bus ride. So in our last video, you saw us trying out these picarones from a family owned restaurant. And we just found out that they've been in business for 25 years, mm -hmm. which is pretty wild. And so we decided to get that again. But we also found out that they also have a chicha marada drink. And we have tried this before, but we wanted it again tonight as a special treat for hiking so much today. Mm -hmm. But basically what Chicha Morada is, it's a purple corn drink 
and it does have hints of cinnamon and I do believe that there's also apple and pineapple in there as well and so I think it's like the perfect autumnal drink it tastes so good it's like autumn in a cup yeah and it's also really nice because it's winter here so it just really mixes well with the cold weather yeah um, but Everything that we got here, so the picarones and the chicharrada, mm -hmm. was a dollar and ninety-one cents in U.S. dollar. Yes, which is crazy. Yeah, so um, very affordable, and I can't wait to just dig in and eat all this deliciousness after hiking all day. And they also package the syrup in this tiny little bag. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us today at Umantai Lake. Tomorrow we're gonna to take you along on another fun adventure. Today we are exploring a collection of Incan ruins that overlook the city of Cusco, and they're called Saxay Homan, and it's only a 25 minute walk from our Airbnb. I like his jacket. So we are getting pretty close to the top. It has been quite a steep incline, but the views are spectacular. So we just made it to Saxe Huaman and we got our little tickets and what we did was we got the 10 day pass and it actually allows you to go into a number of different um, places around the Sacred Valley and so as you can see here these are all the places we can get into now and essentially you pay 130 solas for this one ticket or if you have your student ID with an expiration date you can get it for 70 solas and now that we have the tickets we can go into any of these places for the next 10 days. So now that we have entered Saxe Homan, they have checked it off our list. We are going to go explore. Anything it takes and I won't give up until you have all you need. I'm gonna sweat and bleed, yes I will. So we're now walking through Saxe Woman and oh my gosh, these stones are huge and it's incredible how tight they've packed these stones. Yeah, apparently it is so tightly packed that you can't even slip a sheet of paper through any of the stones. And that's pretty wild. And also I believe the largest one is what? 300 tons is the estimate. Oh my goodness. Which I can't even fathom how heavy that is. So what you can see right now is what's left of Saxe Homan. So when the Spanish conquistadors did come, they actually tore apart all of Saxe Homan because it didn't because, align with their religion. Yes, and they also just used the stone to create their own churches. Mm -hmm. And since, you know, they're pretty nice stones and they're right up the mountain, that's kind of why they took them. Yeah, so the cathedrals you see in Cusco Square are actually made from the stones from Saxe Homan. So these huge ones are actually the ones that the Spanish could not move, and that is why they're still here. So I'm really glad they couldn't move it so yeah. that we could see what the Incans have created so many years ago. And I'm not sure if Claire said this, but there's only about 20% left of what Saxe Woman was. Yeah, it's very little. I'm gonna give you You can do it. Elevation. So out of breath. And I forgot to take an iron pill, so my red blood cells are just dying. But nonetheless, very cool spot. Okay, so this area actually gets a lot of seismic activity, so lots of earthquakes. But because these stones don't have any mortar holding them together, they're actually able to bounce up and down and they fall right back into place. And that is why they have remained all the way until right now. If there was mortar, it would most likely have fallen apart and we wouldn't be able to see it. says that it's too soon my brother tells me to wait but i don't care what they say because you're mine
best thing about me No matter what you say I'm learning to love myself So we just stopped and looked at some alpacas for probably 15 minutes and it was honestly incredible. <laughs> They're so, so, so cute. So there's a slight difference between alpacas and llamas. And one of the key factors is that their face is a little bit shorter than the llama. And it was just so fun to watch them. They're just grazing, eating the best yeah. grass. <laughs> and at one moment, two of them started spitting at each other yeah. for probably like 30 seconds. But the lighting was so nice and we could just oh, see yes. them up close and personal. It was glorious. <laughs> So behind me is this huge Jesus Christ statue that's actually on top of a hill and it overlooks the city of Cusco. And so that is where we're gonna head next. So we've just made it to the Christ statue and from here you can actually see the Plaza de Armas perfectly. So that's really cool. And another fun fact is you probably think of the statue as only being in Rio de Janeiro. But what's really interesting is they're actually found all over South American cities, usually the larger ones. So now that we made it to the very top, we're gonna hike all the way back down and go try to find some dinner. So tonight we've been really wanting to try alpaca meat and we found this place that has pretty reasonable prices and a really good alpaca burger. So for 19 soles, we're gonna get an alpaca burger plus some native potato fries and then also a drink. And then we also opted for just a regular um, beef burger, which is 15 soles, just because it's a little bit cheaper. We want to get something on the lower side and then something a little bit nicer. So they just brought the drink that comes with the meal and we just tasted it and it's very light and refreshing and it kind of has notes of caramelized popcorn and soy milk, but very, very tasty. I've never had anything like this before. Oh, that is so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's very similar to beef, but it's a little bit more tender, I think. All right, so we have finished our hamburguesas. And what's really interesting is the alpaca and beef is a little bit more potent than what we usually have in the US. So you know how um, lamb meat has that extra little taste to it um, that some people like and some people dislike? That is what the meat here has. And I thought that was really interesting. So overall, very delicious. Obviously, we finished everything and now we're gonna get some dessert. So they just brought out another round of this drink and we just found out it's barley drink and it's just such a random thing that we're drinking right now and it's really good <laughs> barley cereal grain just drinking some cereal grain over here <laughs> so in our last video we got some chicha morada which is purple corn drink and this time we are getting some chicha morada ice cream and then we also have a passion fruit cheesecake and it looks so good and smells super fragrant They actually taste like key lime pie because I think the passion fruit has kind of that tart, tangy taste that's kind of like a lime and it's really, really tasty. It tastes more like a pie than a cheesecake, I think. All right, so Claire just tried the chicha morada ice cream. <laughs> and the taste is so interesting. It tastes like a perfume that a 50 to 60 year old woman would be wearing and it's so, so <laughs> fragrant. Yeah, it's yes, good. good. <laughs> or it could also taste like the department store when they're having their annual big candle, <laughs> like extravaganza sale. Very interesting flavor. It's a very specific memory that it gives me. I gotta say, the seating 
here compared to the van has been great. Yeah, I mean, being able to stand up has been life changing. I know, I love it. Our posture has gotten better. <laughs> So this is unfortunately our very last video in Cusco. We are going to start moving towards the Sacred Valley in the following video, which is also, of course, very exciting. But our time here in Cusco has been absolutely wonderful, and I think we both should share a really happy memory that we mm -hmm. had here. Yeah. Um, so for me, today while we were at the lookout area near the church, um, it was super fun to see these little boys they were trying to slide down this grassy hill and all they had was a two liter like Coca-Cola bottle that they'd smashed in so it was nice and flat and there was a little string that they tied at the cap of it and basically they would just put it between their legs and then they'd have the string held up to their body and then they would slide down the hill and they just looked so happy and they did it over and over again and it was just such a simple toy and they got so much joy out of it and that was honestly just so wonderful to watch. Mine is very different. I think my favorite memory actually could be from today and watching the alpacas spit and fight was hilarious. Like I've never seen that in my life and it was so memorable in the sound. It was just like... Yeah, and it's so funny because you can see their spit flying in the air. It's almost like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. And then once they're done fighting, they're both just standing there with their mouths open for yeah. like 10 minutes. And they're just staring off into the distance. And we're making yeah. like sound effects. Yeah. We're just like, they, they look like they'd be like, a duh. <laughs> yeah, so that was really fun. But honestly, Cusco has just been such an incredible city. The people here are amazing. They're I said so that, happy. Yeah, they're just so happy and they're so reserved too. Mm -hmm. It's just, I really like the people here. But with all of that said, we are just so happy to still be in Peru and, and to keep sharing on these adventures. So we will see you guys next time in a brand new city.